So now we want to talk about notes. Notes is to put the text, the picture. We want to draw a line, uh, draw a graph. Then we need to have some description on the picture. So this is how the note become handy here. Uh, the syntax is very simple. Notes at certain location. You put what you want to write. And this and zero C will put alpha and relevant one put beta. Let's see how it works. So I have a uh, same thing. Uh, suppose I have uh, the following. This is exactly following the slide. So if you run this, okay, you see alpha is a zero zero, beta is a one one. But it did not limit to a grid letter. You can say alpha is hot, uh, beta is full, and this is here. Is here and also although you can say at uh, a three three before and we want to say um, a, a square plus b square equal to c square. Okay? This can also be done, so we can just compile it. Uh, so here you can see the problem without a semicolon. So we just Remember to put the semicolon for every statement. You can see alpha is hot, beta is cold, and a square plus b square to c square. So this is how looks it works. And uh, now that's almost done. But sometimes a useful trick here is uh, uh, co one may not be the thing you want. You want to move a little bit upward or downward, left or right. So usually what you do is call the relative shift. You can say above, uh, below, left or right. So you can just have, have a four gamma and uh, will be at one one will be above, below, left or right. Okay. So let's see how it works here. So I make it a little bit more interesting. I make one one x and above I make alpha, below I make a beta, left a gamma and right is eta. So when I compile this, you can see uh, x is in the middle, alpha at the top is above it, right? And below is beta, and left is gamma, and right is eta. So this is how you make a little bit shift. Uh, uh, usually can do the job. But sometimes even this cannot do the job properly, so you need to further fine tune. Uh, to do so, you can add, tell them precisely how much you want to shift. And this gives you the absolute shift. Uh, here, uh, I want to shift uh, x shift is shift x by three mm. If you want uh, shift to the, it's a shift to the right. If you want to shift to the left, is negative three mm. And uh, same second y is a is a vertical shift. Positive goes up, negative goes down. So let's see the code here. Our absolute shift. And um, okay, here we have a uh, gamma shift maybe change to alpha. A bit easier to see. Uh, we have an alpha at one one, and you shift x means further move a little bit more. Maybe we change to five. That it looks easier to see. Then you move a little bit five mm, and if you have a negative five mm, then you move to the left. Right, and for the y shift again, if you have negative, then you will shift down. Okay, in that case, gamma will be lower than the alpha. So, uh, by doing so, you can control uh, uh, every single aspect of movement of the nook you want. Thank you.